What I have here is a contactless hand soap dispenser. Usually what's supposed to happen is you put your hand under it, the light comes on and it dispenses soap out of the bottom. But unfortunately on this device it's no longer dispensing soap. As you can see it still lights up but that's all that's happening. So I'm going to see if I can open it up, take a look inside and see if I can fix it. It looks like there are six screws on the back so I'll just take those out and hopefully it's just going to come apart. Sounds like, now I'm picking it up, sounds like there is actually something loose in there. So that could potentially be whatever's causing the issue, I don't think they're supposed to rattle like that. Anyway, let's see if we can get this apart now. It looks as though I'm going to need to try and get something in this little seam here. There don't seem to be any other screws or anything to take out. Yes, yeah, so let's try and get something in there and see if that will get it apart. So I've just got a metal spudger here. Let's see if we can, we can get it to start coming apart. I'm wondering if there's, there's probably clips in there as well somewhere. There we go. It is actually coming apart quite easily. Okay, so that's actually came apart quite easily. And what we can see in there, we've got quite a big tank which is uh, obviously where the soap we stored. I say quite big, it's actually not that deep because of the battery pack that sits behind it. Um, otherwise we've got this little control board here which looks fairly simple. And then we've got the pump. We've got the pump mechanism here and you can actually see the tube coming from the, uh, the storage container going into the pump but the big coming out is totally empty. You can also see just at the bottom there there is a loose screw so that's obviously what was rattling around. Let's just get that out. Not sure where that came from but I'll see if I can find that out when we go a bit further into it. So I'm just going to unscrew this board now from the front just so I can take this front piece of plastic away. So I've just grabbed my multimeter here, let's just move these screws to the side. Just to try and see if there is actually power coming from this board. So I'll just turn this on. There we go, so let's see first of all if we are getting voltage from the batteries, which we should be because it is lighting up. But we'll see if it's the voltage that we're expecting. There you go, 6.18. So if we've got four AA batteries, one and a half volts each, that's about right. That's what we'd expect. So now for this bit, I'm just going to... Right, so these two over this side look like they're the ones going to the motor. So that's where I'm going to need to need to measure. Just going to put these in. And then, because of course I'm going to have to trigger the, I'm going to have to trigger it. Let's just try and get those in. Now let's trigger it. Okay, you can see when I trigger it, the LEDs lighting up, and we are getting the six volts. So there is power going to, or through these wires, which are going to the motor, but for some reason it's not turning on. So I'm just going to strip it down a bit further, just so I can get access to the motor. There's just a couple more screws here. Let's take these out and hopefully the motor should come out then. So I am going to have to take this little chamber off the front by the looks of it. So this is possibly going to get a bit messy. Okay, so fortunately that's not uh, that's not so bad. It looks like a peristaltic type pump. So these, when the motor turns on, these 
these rollers will turn which squeezes the tube and it pushes the liquid in the tube out the other side. Just want to try rotating it by hand just for a second just to see. Just to see if you can feel whether the motor's actually seized, whether it seems to be turning freely. It does it is turning. But obviously you have got the friction from the tube so it's hard to tell. And we can see uh, we are getting a mess coming out the end obviously because it is it is pushing out. Pushing out now and going everywhere. Let's just get some tissues to clean that up. Right, so it does turn by hand, but if I just try and remove this tube. Yeah, but let's just try and get this out. Okay, these individual pieces come off. Okay, so we've just got uh, some teeth on the inside there and you can see the gears coming from the motor. There is a little bit of dirt in there. Just get rid of that. And again, if I just try turning that now by hand, that is turning nice and freely. So let's just try again without all of the, the extra parts attached and see if if it'll actually turn. Oh. Okay, so that is turning now. I wonder if it is just... I wonder if it is just getting stuck for some reason. Because you can see now it's... The motor's uh, triggering quite cleanly. There was a piece of dirt in there. I don't know whether that would have been enough to to get it stuck. But there is also a little bit of plastic there. Or right, let's just try putting this piece back in on top. Don't think it matters how that goes in, as long as it as long as it's in. Let's try it now. Right, so off camera I've just put the tube back in which was a little bit fiddly which is why I uh, didn't record it in the end. But I've also added a little bit of grease onto it just to try and lubricate it a little bit so hopefully it doesn't stick. It's just cheap white grease, I don't really know how good this stuff is but at, the, at least if it does get it going, I can always replace it with some uh, something a bit better down the line. So I'm just going to get the top back on again and then we'll see if it'll work. I have dropped one of those three screws somewhere, but uh, it should be fine with just the two. I'll just put the battery pack in now and see if that lubricant's enough to get it going. Right, so if I just lift this up now, you can see when I put my hand over the sensor that it is trying to dispense something now. Obviously there's nothing currently in it because I uh, emptied it beforehand. But it looks as though in this case a bit of lubricant and just cleaning it out as well probably helped because there was a little bit of debris in there. If this hadn't worked the next step would have been to try and find a replacement motor. Which you can probably pick them up quite cheaply I imagine because it's just uh, it's only a cheap motor so there's, it doesn't require much power. But that would have been the next step if this didn't work. So as this is working now I'm just going to start putting this back together. Now I don't know how long that fix is going to last, but the cost of a little bit of grease is a lot lower than buying a whole new dispenser. So we'll just see how it goes.
So there we have it. In this case it was just a little bit of lubricant and that's all that's needed to get this going again. I hope that by watching this you can see just how simple some of these electronic devices are on the inside. And, and after all that I never did find out what that extra screw was for. So I hope you like this video, thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll stick around for the next one.